the Correa Trey Turner situation feels like the you know hiding in the weeds situation like every Mets fan justifiably so is focused on of course getting Edwin Diaz back here for a long time but Jacob deGrom fixing the, however fixing the rest of the rotation Brandon Nimmo and then the conversation always shifts to where we'll go in a minute I'm I'll tease it right there Aaron Judge but you're right like we I think because we're so used to seeing that infield the way it is and there's a lot of money already in that infield you forget about the flexibility of if you pay trey turner what he wants maybe he's open to the idea of playing second base i don't think jeff mcneil really cares where he plays honestly jeff mcneil just wants to be out there he plays at 100 miles an hour in left field right field second base wherever the hell you need him so i I do think that turner and correa while obviously not likely and i would put the odds under maybe even 20 percent that one of them ends up a met they do change how the entire offseason looks and how it's expected to look trey turner played second base don't forget for the dodgers when he got traded there initially because Corey seager was at shortstop so he's clearly comfortable there uh correa has vastly improved as a shortstop to the point where there was a lot of evaluators when he was in the minors in the draft and then obviously early on in his career that he was going to be a third baseman before he turned 30 and he has stepped up his de- defense at short that he has the ability to say I'm a shortstop if he wants to uh, and you know like you said maybe the odds aren't high but I think gone should be the days that we rule anything out uh, the money is there the aggressiveness is there. The desire to win is there now with the New York Mets. So I'm taking nothing off the table. And if that means convincing Carlos Correa to play third base next to Francisco Lindor or convincing Trey Turner to play second base next to Francisco Lindor, uh, I think we certainly could have uh, much bigger problems on our hands.